Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I would be sharing some of my all time favorite summer drinks that I love to make at home. These drinks are also very healthy and everyone can drink it during the summer season. Besides this, I also love to make mango ice cream during the summer season and that too a healthy version of it. So I start off by showing you my favorite mango ice cream. I have taken two big mangoes and I have dipped them in water for some time. And after two to three hours, I will randomly chop them into small pieces. After slicing them into small pieces, I will keep all these mango in a container and store them in a refrigerator for at least three to four hours before I start off with the process of making a mango ice cream. I always wanted to make a healthy version of an ice cream and I used to often think about how can I make it. When my son was three and a half year old and I would discuss this with his pediatric because he also loved to have ice cream. So she told me to try this version of an ice cream. So once I try this ice cream, I have never stopped making it. Every summers, I make sure that I make this ice cream for him as well as for myself. So after keeping these mango in the refrigerator for some time, I will add these mango in a blender. Along with that, I would be adding some hunkered, some almonds, one lemon squeeze and for sweetness, I have taken three to four uh, dates without seeds. Once it is made into a fine puree, I will lay down a one layer of it on my container and I top it up with some mango cubes so that when I am having it, I get a good bite of it. And then once these cubes are being set, I will again place another layer of mango and again top it up with some mango cubes. I also love to have lots of dry fruit since I was shortage of pistachios which add a amazing flavor and it complement with the mango ice cream. So I garnish it and top it up with some dry fruit of almonds and cashews. Once this is ready, I will lock my container and place this up in the refrigerator for at least 6 to 7 hours. Once it is ready, it gives such a beautiful color and a look that you can't stop yourself from eating it. We both sit and enjoy this mango ice cream either on a Saturday evening or a Sunday evening. This is something that we both love and without any guilt we can have as much as we want. Do try out this amazing mango ice cream and let me know in the comment section how did you like it. Another drink of mine is my husband's all time favorite, it is his arm bun. Everyone has their own way of making it. My way is slightly different. I have taken 4 to 5 raw mangoes and a big bunch of mint leaf. I gave a whistle to both these things together, 2 to 3 whistle is more than enough. And then once it gets cooled down, I puree it. After puring it, I can even store the big bunch of this and as and when it is required, I take some amount of it in a container, add some lemon to it, some ice to it and lot of water and allow it to rest for some time so that everything get comes together. And in the end, I would be adding some jeera powder and some desi khan that is optional if you wish to have it. Whenever he is back from the office, he loves to have this ampan. He feels so refreshing, he feels so energetic, I can't tell you. Since it has amazing flavors of mint, I add lots and lots of mint in it, so it gets such a good flavor and he automatically feels fresh after a hectic day at office. Ever since I've started taking care of myself in terms of healthy diet and in terms of healthy routine, I never miss this drink of mine. This is one of my favorite drinks and I wanted to share it with you all. 
I have taken one apple, one carrot and one beetroot. You can also add some amla to it that is optional. I have chopped them randomly and I have added this to a blender. Either I would be adding one glass of water or I I sometimes add a one glass of coconut water. Add some amount of black salt and give it a good mix with the help of a grinder. Once it get completely pure down, I add the entire puree and allow the entire juice to drain down. It hardly take 5 minutes to make this juice and once this is ready, I make sure that I take this juice every morning before I leave for my office. This help me to keep my stomach full and I actually love the taste and the flavor of it. We all love to have curd during the summer season and especially when we have such a high humidity and the heat around and we find it difficult to digest our food. During the summer season I love to make this chia curd along with my every meal so that it help in a proper digestion of our food. After beating up my curd and smoothing it up, I have added one big spoon of chia uh, that I have soaked it in a water for one hour before. I have also taken some uh, cucumber, slice it into small cubes. I have added some uh, carrot and grated it properly. Lots of mint leaves and lots of coriander leaves, and I have mixed everything together to give a good flavor. I would be adding a tadka to it in a pan I have taken some mustard oil I would be adding a pinch of hing be adding some mustard seeds some urad dal some dry red chili and allow it to crackle once it started crackling I would be adding 2 to 3 curry leaves and some peanut that will give your chia curd a next level Once the entire thing is been added I would be adding my kashmiri lal mirch and then I would be adding this entire tadka to this chia curd It gives such a beautiful color and it is so tempting that you can't stop yourself from having it After adding a tadka I allow it to keep in a refrigerator for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then along with our uh, everyday meal we prefer to have it during the lunch time this chia carrot curd recipe could easily be taken with any kind of recipe that we have during the summer season especially otherwise this is something that we love to have before our meal so that our stomach get easily cool down and we are ready for the next meal in summer season how can we forget watermelon we all love to have watermelon during the summer season rather than having a uh, watermelon in a simpler form i sometimes love to have the juice of this watermelon ever since i learned this uh, juice recipe from my house helper only couple of years back i started making it and you won't believe there was a time when i used to literally request my husband that i want to have a juicer because i think i can't make any kind of juices or any kind of drink in this blender but i was absolutely wrong i can make any kind of juice in this blender also ever since i started taking care of my healthy diet and routine i learned so many healthy things that i used to sometimes get amazed that why i have not thought about this earlier but since it is never too late to try out something that is very good or healthy for you i have taken some um, uh, watermelon cubes and i've added to a grinder along with that lots of mint leaves some lemon juice that is optional some uh, chaat masala or some black salt and add a water to it and mix everything together with the help of a blender then i've taken out the entire puree in the another container and again add a small amount of lemon to it i would be adding chaat masala i would be adding black salt and if you wish you can also add 
some amount of desi kha that is optional but i love to enjoy this watermelon drink in a simpler form adding lots of ice cube to it and allow it to rest for at least 2 to 3 minutes and this this juice is absolutely ready to be served i love to have at least 2 to 3 glass of this juice as this is so divine and i can have juices as much as i want during the summer season this another summer drink is my all time favorite and this is one of the healthiest drink this is a sattu drink i have taken some roasted chana and i would grind them up and make a fine powder out of it rather than buying a sattu powder from the market i prefer to make a, a sattu powder at home it hardly take 5 minutes to make a sattu powder from the roasted chana once this powder is ready i can make so many dishes out of this sattu powder i can make parathas i can make uh, drinks i can make lassi and not only this a simple sattu drink can be so refreshing i can't tell you it has so many benefits like it helps in the gut health it also help us to lower the cholesterol this is rich in iron and it also help us to regulate the blood sugar and those who are on the weight loss journey this is a magical drink that can uh, help us to lose our weight slowly and gradually whenever i am doing a work from home i prefer to have this sattu drink along with my office work just a sattu powder a glass of water a mint leaves and some uh, spices is more than enough that we can easily enjoy this drink along with my office work i prefer to have this drink rather than taking an unhealthy option of cold drink or tetra pack juice this is something that actually soothes me and my mind and my soul do try out this healthy drink and let me know in the comment section how did you like it this is one of my recent breakfast favorite recipe that i'm sharing it with you all two spoons of oats and one spoon of chia seeds soaked it in a uh, uh, milk overnight i prefer to have these during those days of my morning days when i am badly packed up with the household chores at the last moment also and i don't get time to enjoy my breakfast this is something that i can even have on the go while i am on my way to the office after soaking the chia seeds as well as oats in the uh, milk overnight i have taken this out in a big bowl added the milk as per my choice of consistency then i would be adding lots of fruit whatever it is available like mango was there with me banana was there with me so i have added lots of mangoes and bananas some homemade granules chocolate granules and some musk melon seed this is a wholesome meal that i love to have uh, during the breakfast I hope you all enjoyed watching this amazing recipes. Do let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and do share it with your friends and families. Till then, take care.